Uh, Javier Gonzalez played to Cubana baseball. Uh, Lester, good evening. Uh, your debut this season was against the Marlins, but tonight the result uh, was different. What made tonight result different? I uh, just wasn't able to throw strikes, wasn't able to get ahead in the count. Um, put myself behind the eight ball. Um, you know, you give big league hitters the opportunity and hitters counts uh, like I was able to tonight, then stuff like that happens. So, um, unfortunately, was not able to, like I said, get ahead and, and pound the zone. It was just all over the place and um, allowed them to get comfortable and, and kind of zone in on on their areas. Jessica Camarado, OB.com. Hey, John, at what point in your start tonight did you realize that things were going to be off? Probably batter number three. Um, you know, for whatever reason, started off well and then couldn't find the strike zone with Marte, couldn't find the strike zone um, really at all after that, uh, for whatever reason. Um felt comfortable in the first batter. And then after that, it was like, I just lost all feel for, for really anything and everything I was trying to do. So, um, you know, put Jan in a, in a bad pitch, you know, bad situation back there. It's not really anything we could go to, to get a strike or get kind of back into counts or get bad contact. So it was just um, crappy all around uh, on my part. Seems like you've had such a long career. You've probably been in just about every situation possible on the mound when you do get in those situations what's the difference between being able to make those adjustments and then a night like tonight like what prevents or is the obstacle for making the adjustments that you need uh I think just being able to get back into strike one you know um or even the I think the other the other big thing and you know I think we all put an emphasis on strike one but you know the other count is the one one count you know, going from two, one to one, two, that's, that's a big, uh, big swing as well. So just, I, I wasn't able to do either or, um, you know, and, and nights like this, I, I, you know, I hate to always say like, Oh, they happen. Yeah. Whatever. But, um, you know, they do, but just a struggle, just the, 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 the OO to the one, one counts just killed me. Um, you know, the, the, when you get to one, Oh, if you get to one, one that, that you can kind of, creep back into some counts and I was going 2-0 and now you got to, you know, you got to miss on the, or you got to be on the bigger side of the plate, whether, uh, whereas if you're 1-1, you can, you know, make the ball do a little bit different things. So I just wasn't flat out able to do that uh, really with anything. Um, and obviously the results speak for themselves. Thank you. Dr. Washington Post. Hey, John, I'm sort of related to you saying sometimes it happens. Like, there have been a couple starts this year where you sit here and kind of tell us kind of similar things or not be able to find the zone as much as you'd like. Do yeah. you feel as though that's the course of a normal season, or is there something that's kind of happening between these starts that has made it a bit of a trend this year? I, I really don't know. I uh, wish I knew. Um, you know, I feel like when I do have a good one, the next one isn't great. And I don't know what the reason for that is. Um, you know, if I did, I would obviously – we try to make the next right. one better. Um, I, I don't know. It's just kind of the trend I've been in. I don't, I don't know what it is. I mean, I feel physically, I feel good. Um, you know, maybe just like any other night, you're not always going to be perfect mechanically, but just tonight was just, uh, for whatever reason was just off, never felt comfortable, never felt comfortable with the ball in my hand, never felt comfortable with any, anything we were trying to do. And, you know, I, I can chalk that up more as one of those nights as opposed to some of the other ones that that has kind of occurred to this point where you know I felt okay I felt like we needed to make some adjustments and I didn't do that and uh, put myself in a position to to fail so um, you know tonight like I said I pigeonholed myself I, I fell behind too many counts uh, wasn't locating my change up um, you know my curveball was okay and and when you know, you don't really have anything other than a fastball to either side of the plate. They can, like I said, they can pigeonhole you. They can, they can make you uh, come to them. And, and that's what they did to me tonight. I know you're not 
trying to make excuses all here, um, but do you feel as though with how spring training went and starting a month late that you've been chasing it all a bit? I don't know if it's, like you said, you feel good physically, so maybe it's not a physical thing, but has there been any element of the season where you haven't really been able to settle in yet, given kind of the beginning of the schedule for you? No, I'm 11, I'm 11 in now, I think. Um, yeah. So, no, I mean, can't really, can't really fall back on that anymore. Um, so, you know, I mean, it should be, you know, it should be better than this. It should be a little bit more consistent than this is what I should say it better as opposed to better. Um, you're going to have bumps in the road. You're going to have starts where you have to grind through, but the simple fact of me just going from one start pitching well, going deeper into a game to the next start, really not doing a whole lot. It is very, very frustrating. It's not only frustrating for me, it's I'm sure frustrating for my teammates and frustrating for Davey puts our bullpen in a bad situation. Uh, you know, like, and that, that's the thing that I, like, that's what I've been kind of waiting. I was like, okay, I have a good one. Let's get the next one. Like, you know, the next one doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be great. It just, it needs to be quality. I need to throw some innings. Um, need to not walk guys. I can live with hits all day. I can live with homers all day. It's the, um, the nonsense of, of wasted pitches, wasted time, um, walking guys, free passes. And, and that's, that's where, you know, throughout my whole career, it's, it's got me in trouble. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Mark Zuckerman, A happier topic for you. The last time we, we spoke to you, Schwarber was just kind of starting to get into this stretch. Since then, he's taken it to a whole new level. Um, having seen him go through his whole career, can you appreciate what this means for him, what he's been able to do here for the last two weeks? That's crazy. Um, I mean, in, in 19, I saw something not quite like this, but, you know, Similar, um, you know, after the all-star break in 19, he went off on a, on a pretty good clip there and, and drove in a lot of runs and, and hit a bunch of homers. So uh, I saw a glimpse of it. This is a whole nother level of what he's, what he's doing. Um, you know, it's tested to, testament to him. I mean, he's, he's worked hard. He's made uh, a lot of adjustments through his career. And, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. He's swinging the bat well. Um, Obviously, Wells an understatement, but it, it's it's crazy. I mean, it, it seems like when he puts the bat on the ball, it's going to either be, you know, damage or it, it's going to be a hit. And, um, you know, when when you go through stretches like this, pitchers go through stretches like that where you throw the ball down the middle 2-0 and they pop it up and hitters go through stretches down like this where, you know, you feel like you make a good pitch and they still hit it out or they still get a hit or whatever. So. Hopefully he can ride this as long as we're playing this year and he puts up some pretty stupid numbers, um, you know, and, and uh, we can continue to ride the, ride the wave of, uh, of Schwarber. And Javier Gonzalez. Lester, the last question for me. Uh, the Red Sox removed Pedroia number today in Boston. Have you sent him a message today? Uh, I did. Well, not today. I, I've, I've talked to him. Um, briefly through the years since uh since we've been on on different teams and whatever and and uh, i spoke to him um not too long ago probably spring training time uh when when i knew he was he was going to be done um you know t tonight is obviously a very very special night for him and his family um it, it, he he deserves anything and everything that that went on tonight. I don't know what, what went on and, and whatever, but um, he's, he's probably one of the, the best teammates, best people, best competitors, um, best just all around human beings that I've ever got to play baseball with, let alone just know, um, you know, baseball obviously is what we do for a living. Uh, just, I can't speak volumes uh, enough for, for who he is as a dad and, a, and husband and, and just a friend. Um, in person. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy that they, that they did that for him tonight. Uh, he, like I said, he deserves every second uh, of what, uh, what went on. Thank you so much.